really love this song. I just love this song. In this next tutorial, we're going to show you how to remove a woman with hair blowing in the wind out of an image and place her in another image. Check out my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. Photoshop Elements 11 is open up. This worked just fine in Photoshop Elements 10 also. These are the images that we are working with today. Alright, so notice that the girl on the right is isolated on a white background. The girl on the left has got an actual background. So let's check this one out first. We're going to take and select the Selection Brush Tool. Alright. And let's change the size to like 71 pixels. And now I'm just going to left click, hold and drag and make my selection. Now I, I don't have to be exact as you can tell. Just getting close to where the hair ends and the white begins. Real important, you see where the hair is blowing here? Do not go all the way to the edge of the image. It's going to make this too hard. Alright, now we're going to go to select and refine edge. This is where it all happens on Refine Edge. Now look, uh, we're going to go up here and select the Smart Radius and move the radius slider all the way to the right for 250 pixels. Look at that! Now watch what happens when I take Smart Radius out. Ah! Scary. Let's put Smart Radius back on. And now I'm going to click on Decontaminate Colors. Can't even say Decontaminate. And I'm going to put it at about like 61. Okay, there's two tools up here, the Erase Refinement Tool, but we're going to use the Refine Radius Tool. That's what it defaults to. I'm just left clicking, holding and dragging around the problem areas now of the hair. And look what happens, it's kind of like a thunderstorm's going on, a lightning storm in the background. Look at that. I'm probably going to have nightmares from this storm stuff. So I'm going to go down here and again I'm just left clicking, holding and dragging and the refining the edge is doing all the work for me. It's so cool! Alright, we've got a couple of more spots here and right there. And now come down here and just touch it up a little bit. Okay. Now it's real important that you know that out of these selections, select new layer with layer mask. Okay? That's important. Always new layer with layer mask. And look, pretty good. Alright, let's go over to the toolbar and select the crop tool. Because we had a little bit of problems at the bottom. That's okay, I'm just going to crop it and get rid of that. I'll click, I'll click on the green check mark. All right. Now here's our next image. This one's a little bit difficult. The hair's even more uh, blowing, and we got a regular image, not isolated on white. So let's check this out. This is important. So again, we're going to go to the toolbar and select the uh, selection brush tool, and I'm going to draw my selection. By the way, this is in fast motion. Again, look, I'm not going all the way to the edge where the hair is blowing to the edge of the image. I'm leaving a little bit. All right, now we're going to go to Select and Refine Edge. Now, this time, again, I'm going to select the Smart Radius tool and move it all the way to 250 pixels. And uh, I'm going to select Decontaminate Colors, but this time I'm going all the way to the right at 100%. And now, again, I'm just left-clicking, holding, and dragging over the areas where the hair is blowing to make this image just kind of pull it apart from the original background so we can move it into our next background. Alright. Now I'm just going to fix the little back there and uh, touch it up right around here. And I think, um, I think a little touch up there and there. And that looks perfect. So, I just want to show you, if you click here where the image is, you can select overlay to see how you did. 
uh, and then on black or on white and black on white and then on layer and uh, reveal layer this is the original image all right, so this is our background image. We're going to see how we did with the two beautiful girls. And uh, we're going to go ahead and left click, hold, and drag them over. And uh, there's the first one. Looks pretty good. All right, and there is our second girl. Now, I'll tell you, you might want to grab the eraser tool and touch up things just a little bit. So I'm going to click on the first girl's layer. And uh, I've already grabbed the eraser tool. And you see I'm just kind of touching things up. A little bit of a glow around the hair. And uh, I'm just going to do it again. I'm going to grab the eraser tool. And one more time I'm going to just do some touching up uh, on this girl right over here. And I think that's basically it. So that's how you work with a model or someone whose hair is blowing in the wind. It's the Refine Edge. I love it. Thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe from Info Puppet.